Good evening. Welcome to week 53 of the basic course in Vedic Astrology by, Sar by Shiva, Sarvamangala Institute of Vedic Astrology. Today we covered third remaining uh, houses and then fourth, fourth lord in various houses. Let's look at the agenda. The speed may be a bit slow here. Okay, so please bear with patience. So now we are going to see last class recap. And then this time there are many changes. So the first change is there is no secret seven. There's only one slider which will depict something and provide some perspective. Okay, today I'll share uh, one of the old uh, slides I had used long back. Then audio check. Then we have two activities. One is the usual Finding Astro Ninja, episode 10. Then we begin <clears throat> the study of the first stu one student here, birth chart. Okay. And the remaining you will continue as homework. And I'll explain uh, because this is um, going online and anyone be, can write uh, their observation in that. Okay, I'll show it. And we'll also do a test so that uh, we know that it works. Then we'll look at the third Lord remaining Bhavas and then fourth Lord in, in all uh, the powers as much as possible today. Then we'll look at the, uh, we'll take the feedback. Then we have self-reflection and then Q&A. Okay, last class recap. The last secret seven, that was about seven professions. And we looked at Saturn's position in various uh, houses then we had a look into the we had the intermediate question set seven that was also the last one on that and then finding a stone ninja we did the episode nine about <clears throat> mars's position then third lord in various powers as part of the shiva content and then self-reflection the links on the bottom are referring to the last last content and recording let's now go to the gain perspective one and this i had covered very long back and it's a good time to bring it back i would like one of you to volunteer and read this um yeah so who can read this you can just read the first Three lines first, these three. Anyone? You can read. Develop the perspective from a class long back. Astrology findings, test of strings. Unfavorable conditions or weakening energies expected by planets based on astrology. It is like the ship below from home conditions to marathon conditions. Weakness difficulty is contextual or relative, not an link. Okay. <clears throat> Can you or somebody summarize what is being conveyed here in your own words? So I think we, yeah, please go ahead. I was thinking what, what is perceived as weakness, uh, maybe uh, uh, on a comparative basis, like not strong enough for a marathon, but uh, strong enough for vegetable cutting, maybe our strengths. Um, hmm. Sometimes our weakness can be sort of also a strength in some other area. Maybe in a particular area, it may, be, it may look like a weakness. Exactly. So there are uh, two things, at least at the minimum. One is that our strength is not enough 
for the condition that's going to come. The other is that maybe we are better suited in some other thing. You should not go to marathon if it's the prediction or um, to be precise, the uh, finding from astrology says that it's going to be a difficult time. So we better go and do something else. Don't go into marathon, right? So you can do either of the two things. Either you build your physique, train towards it, or you do something that's more natural or more something that uh, is more relevant for your present level of strength. That's the two ways we can do. And uh, time and again, we always say that it's not really predicting the future. It's giving us a guidance. It depends how we use it. Okay. And uh, uh, like a weather forecast, this gives some data that can be of use for us and we can um, take better decisions for ourselves, which will work for us. So uh, that's the main point here. Uh, can you continue then <coughs> reading this, this analogy? Shall I continue, Venkat? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Weakened, continue by physical, weakened by physical hmm. limits, unfavorable uh, planet positions, strengthened by exercise, diet, personal actions, uh, astrology similar to upcoming earthquakes, storm alerts, Alerts do not predict our safety. Our safety is in our own hands by actions taken based on those alerts. Yes. So <clears throat> that's the way to look at the astrological findings, not as something that's defining us, but that's something that's helping us or guiding us. Our actions are also equally important. Hence, we cannot be complacent considering that astrology says, let's say, astrology says I am going to be wealthy. So, we simply cannot sit with folded hands assuming that wealth will come to us. That's not the way to uh, look at this. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, I don't want to spend too much time on this one and just wanted to bring this perspective again. Now, audio check. Should be there on your screen. Nine out of time, nine out of nine. I think all are done. Let me end the poll. And share the results. It's taking time. Yeah, it should be there on your screen. It all say that audio is very good, well audible. Okay. So let's proceed. Finding Astro Ninja. I hope. Uh, all of you have seen this and have some opinion now. So, one volunteer can read the speech bubbles, somebody other than who read so far. Anyone? Who's going to read? Who's the lucky one? Nobody's lucky. Shall one. I read? Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, yeah. I can't hear. Yeah. Can I read uh, Venkat Jain? <clears throat> yeah. Astro Ninja has no planet in 10th house. The malefic Mars is aspecting 10th house. I guess his career won't be that great. 
Yeah, then you can continue with this, what Charlie says. An empty house doesn't mean that it cannot be great. You know, politics and business happens the best way from home in caps. Okay, wait, let me... Now I need to note down. Lucy Charlie. Now let me see participants. Okay. Then first on my screen is Mr. Kapil. So which side are you in? Who are you supporting? <laughs> okay. Uh, Charles, I will support you. Charles. Charlie. Is it? Charlie, Charlie, yeah. I hope you have reasoning behind that. Yeah, I think I agree. I go with the comments. So probably... Yeah, no, no. We'll discuss that later. Yeah. Just wanted to yeah. check if you have solid reasons. Yeah. Okay. Then, Ms. Vasudha. I'll support Charlie. Okay. Then, Zuma Subramanian. Yeah, Charlie. Charlie. Then, Ms. Kavita, Kavita Ji. Yeah, it will not affect his career. Okay, so Charlie. Yeah. Then, Ms. Padma Varaji. Charlie. Charlie. Yes. Nobody is going for Lucy. Okay. Then, Mr. Vishal. Charlie. Okay. Then, Mr. Ravi. You are on mute. Yeah. I, yes, with Charlie. Okay. <clears throat> Viresh. You are on mute if you are speaking. Okay, Mr. Arsija. Uh, Charlie, I'll go with Charlie. Charlie. <clears throat> This time it's landslide victory for Charlie. Yes, on hundred out of hundred. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't know. Mr. Viresh is abstained from voting. <laughs> okay. okay, now let's come to. <clears throat> uh, since everyone is on Charlie's side, mm -hmm. uh, let me hear. Let's say that is so starting, Mr. Kapil. So mm -hmm. why don't you support Lucy? Uh, so, as you said that, uh, you know, we are doing forecasting and it's prediction based model and we mm. can't uh, assume the things uh, in the chat, right? So, the best thing is the uh, blank doesn't mean that, you know, it's it's mm -hmm. not possible. Yeah, that's what I think. Okay. Yeah. Anything mm -hmm. that is uh, supporting or telling some facts that the career is really indeed good in terms of the pla other planetary positions? Yeah, I, I I can't kind of explain that, so I'll leave it for other people to explain. It. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Then let's uh, go to Ms. Vasudha. Uh, I think that uh, his career has something to do with being in power. So either can be in politics or in a high position in running something independently like a business because of sun's placement and sun's placement yeah okay. how, how can you explain sun sorry sir. sun is in third house so is that the reason or something else yeah third house so i'm guessing third house is for communication okay so politics has a lot to do with being persuasive so you are relating third house communication with son's position. 
Right. Okay. Any other thing, any other factors you see here which supports good career? Uh, moon in 10th house. So career may not... Not in 10th. 10th is empty. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Moon is in 9th. Right. Moon is my 10th is empty. Sorry. Any, okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll hold my thoughts for now. Okay. Then, Masuma. Yeah, tenth house Lord is Jupiter, and Jupiter is placed in Sagittarius, which is its uh, Mool Trikona. So, mm. because the Lord is powerful, so even though Mars uh, aspect mm. is there, I feel uh, because of Jupiter's strength that uh, tenth house will not be affected much. Excellent, very good point. So, what we have to see, uh, whether it is empty or not empty, is the tenth house. Uh, Lord and 10th house Lord is Jupiter and happens to be in own house and then which house number is Jupiter in? 7th. And 7th is what kind of house? The Kendra house. Yeah, hence Kendra is anyway good and Jupiter is benefic. On top of it, it's in its own house. So in terms of 10th Lord, this shows it's very good. So do we see any other points, any other things? which support the fact that career is good. Mars in third house. Mars in third house supports. Yeah, it's good for career. In what way? The person is uh, very courageous, um, ambitious. What and why we say so? Now, Sivash slide says so, that Mars in third house yeah. <laughs> third house is about itself about ambition courage right yeah and mars is also about courage and energy so definitely that's good but is is the point from lucy is it valid that malefic is aspecting 10th house mars is aspecting 10th house <clears throat> is it going to give anything harmful over there as such, there is no planet in 10th house, right? Even if it aspects. No, Mars is aspecting. Mars influence should be there, right? Okay. Would you agree that Malefic is aspecting 10th? Maybe some disagreements at the workplace, like mm. maybe some conflict with colleagues or bosses. Okay. Do you, any of you remember Mars in 10th? What does it mean? Mars in 10th house, 10th house is Big Balam, no? Yes, correct. It's actually very good. And even if if you see the Siva slide, Mars in 10th house, you'll find all very good points in terms of profession and especially towards like defense, military. And it's going to be very good in terms of Mars aspecting 10th. And there is no other thing that's negatively going to try to influence. There's no planet. So it's good that way. Uh, Venkatji, I have a uh, no. doubt here. See, Mars in the 10th house, uh, that's one thing. Mars aspecting the 10th house is the other thing. Is the effect will be the same? Mm, not equal, but similar. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you just consider similar as if Mars is sitting there. So like that. But may not be as strong as Mars directly being there. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now... Uh, it's very clear that uh, career is good. Now, let's see another thing. Uh, do you think this person will um, get good wealth from the career? Yes. Which houses do we see for? Second wealth? house. And also, first house, house. first house having Venus. Uh, yeah, second and eleventh is what specifically we see. Second is the liquid assets, more direct wealth. Eleventh is benefits, right? Uh, that's also going to be related to wealth. So, what do we see? Something here that helps us. Jupiter is uh, having a fifth aspect on eleventh house. That's why the eleventh house Lord is Mars. Exactly. That's also good. So Mars in third house. Third house is which type of house? Ambitious, courageous. Type, type, type. 
like dustana kendra vishnu ah dustana house upachaya 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 okay also upachaya and upachaya means it is going to grow over time okay and we also already saw mars being uh producing good things for 10th house and now in terms of uh, do we see anything else for 11th house any other thing aspecting or something i think yeah, jupiter <laughs> jupiter is aspecting the 11th house yes yeah that is told anything else uh, is happening okay okay then what about second house the second house lord is in the ninth house second sorry house lord is moon sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah second house lord is in the ninth house moon is in the ninth house is it helping in any way it says some so legacy second house itself it's having some planets right ketu and mercury mercury yeah so would you say that second house is good here mercury in the second house very gen like it is positive very generous and uh, mm -hmm. the person may not be interested in wealth even if they have like they'll be detached from their own wealth detached Why do you say so? Because Ketu is there. Yeah. Ketu is there. So it doesn't mean that they won't earn wealth. They will, but they will not give it that importance. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Now uh, I'll tell you some more things. So in terms of, um, so do you think this person will be um, oriented better for doing business or towards some service? like care or doing service for others this person will be wealthy because ketu in the second house ketu in the second house as as per shiva's slide it says custodian of great wealth hmm. so second is also very good but now the question is different hmm. uh fine he'll he'll get a lot of wealth now is he going to be a, be in a career towards business or towards some service Mm. See, since Lagna Lord is in the second house, uh, like he'll be a, a great scholar, so maybe not good at business. Why Lagna Lord in second house? That's why. I can well learn speech and well learned. Mm. So there's another thing about second house. Second house will be strong anyway. Is good anyway. because lagna lord is in second right you remember one of the ashwa ninjas wherever yeah. lagna lord is there it's going to be good okay now in terms of business and service what we see i mean it will not be i don't think you'll find it in shiva's slide directly anywhere so let me use the the jup uh, uh, the jupiter in the i mean the 10th house lord is jupiter maybe the maybe he is not good in business because A Jupiter in tenth house is not good for business. But he's not in the tenth house, right? He's the lord uh, of the tenth house. Yeah, but the lord of the tenth house is Jupiter. So he must be a good businessman. Yes. One second. Let me come here. <clears throat> yeah. for uh, business and service okay there are two things uh, um is it because saturn in the 12th house is aspecting the 6th house of sir no, can you please repeat uh, i am facing some audio issue here sorry i was meaning saturn in the 12th house Let me switch off my your video yeah can you speak now saturn in 12th house i heard uh looking at 
looking at Jupiter. Looking Saturn at Jupiter. Saturn is generally uh, does well in the seventh house, right? But it's looking from twelfth. It's looking at six. So. Mm -hmm. um, I think he can do business and service both. Both. May, may be doing multiple things, so, to my knowledge. Because Saturn from 12th is looking at 6th house of service. Service, yes. And Jupiter in 7th, uh, Jupiter um, is more about wisdom. So maybe a consultant or something uh, on the side, you know. So may do service and may do uh, weekends, may, may do consultancy like a side business. So we see this way okay yeah that's good your logic is good and let me explain so <clears throat> i mean you can use it in any chart seventh house uh, what i'm writing is visible right yeah seventh house is for will orient one person to a business okay sixth house for service like doing good for people all those things so now what we see one is how the house is in terms of its strength and the seventh lord we see sixth lord okay and when we are saying house we also see if there are any planets inside it to assess the house how it is in terms of its strength third thing we'll see is venus and saturn so venus is the what is known as karaka for seventh that means venus depending on its strength will enhance your business or its position and strength that's what i mean and then saturn will enhance your service orientation to doing service so we have this 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 to see okay now, if we see in terms of a house, seventh house is the this right where Jupiter is sitting. Yeah. So seventh house, Jupiter is sitting in its own house, and seventh is a Kendra house. Obviously, seventh is pretty good, right? Really good. If you see sixth house is having no planet, it's aspected by Saturn. Okay. So Saturn, this Lord of this is what? Lord of Sixth houses, which planet? Mars, Mercury, Mars, Mars, Mars. So it's Mars. Okay, and Mars is in which house number? Three. Hmm. So compared to one four seven ten Kendra and one five nine Lakshmi house, three is not really as great as those, right? As Trikonas and uh, Kendras. Yeah. Three is Upachaya. So relatively if already find that 7000 is better in terms of if you see is general strength now looking at this part 7th lot 6th lot we already saw included in this now if you see venus and saturn now venus is where where is it placed lagna lagna itself first house first house is both lakshmi and vishnu and on top of it venus is aspecting the seventh okay and hence, this again strengthens the fact that business is going to be uh, stronger. If you see Saturn, where is it? Twelfth house. And twelfth is neither Lakshmi nor Vishnu house nor uh, Upachaya house. So twelfth is one of the Dustana houses. And uh, among the Dustana, twelfth is, uh, you know, it's only the sixth is better. So this is not going to be so favorable towards service. That's what we can uh, surmise or conclude based on the, this analysis. So we say that on top of it, we have also seen the uh, amount of wealth this person is likely to have. And hence, we can say that this person is more suited for business. Okay, that's how we see. I hope this helped you. Uh, the thing is, uh, Venkatji, the seventh house, uh, uh, Jupiter is uh, is in own house. But uh, what we learned from the Shiva slide is uh, uh, Jupiter uh, 
it's not good for business right jupiter is not good but if you see it's benefic it's in own house so in terms of the house it is pretty strong okay but in terms of uh, see the other factors so venus is aspecting it so okay. you remember Ju jupiter venus together is you know it's like a rich sadhu yeah 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 uh, so it doesn't mean that is not going to be uh, is going to be totally spiritual doesn't mean that is going to be away from materialism so it might be a combination of both both okay yeah Okay. Okay. okay, but there are several other things in terms of career, but I think for now, for today, it's good. Uh, this much is already a lot of information. And uh, do watch the recording uh, because I am going to erase this notes here. Let's go back and proceed further. Now, this is done. This is the new thing I was talking, sent some messages in the WhatsApp group. So now you see, this is a link I've given and everyone should be having access to this. What I'll do is let me uh, share this right now in the WhatsApp group. And can you all please check if you are able to access as well as edit this document. Okay, I'll pick it from becoming too slow. I switch off my video again. I stop the sharing. <clears throat> Yeah, here it is. Or actually, I'll share it in the Zooms chat. It's still loading for me. Okay, now <clears throat> I'll send this link, copy link. Okay, link is copied. Chat. Yeah, can you check the Zoom chat? I've sent the link. 
And please try to open that link and see if you are able to edit it. Is it editable or is it? Uh, let me check. All our viewers became restricted. anyone with this link. <clears throat> Editor. Okay, now everyone is editor there. And we have here one of the batchmates, Mr. Ajay. His birth chart is here. Can one of you please try to type here your observation? From the link that you got, please. Open and see if you can type your observation. Okay, can someone tell what do you see here? What do we see first in the in a chart? What do we see? Aries ascendant with sun in the ascendant. So what do we know about Aries Lagna? Uh, fighter. Any... Yeah, can you try to type after going in that link? Can you try to type here Aries Lagna? Fighter, can you just try to type? I just want to see if this works properly. Uh, so you need to use that. You see on the right side, plus this is for your writing. This is for your comments. The smiley you can put if you want some sticker there as a reaction for um, other observation. Venkat, where have you shared the link on this? Okay. The link I can see it is on the chat cha chat box, but how uh -huh. how should we type for Venkatji? I'm not able to get it. Just click on that blue color. Do you see here? This is blue not color. coming uh, in the link when we open this uh, sign. Is not add open. comment. Add yeah. comment. Yeah. Add comment suggested. Yeah, Vasudha's. Yeah. Or you can directly click on it and you can type. These are for comments. Those things and such. You can just click on it and type. You can type your thing. So, and yeah. Can you send the link on the WhatsApp group? Zoom chat. It's in the Zoom chat. Okay. Maybe Vasudha, you can pause that here. Somebody else can please try to write their comment. 
I try to click that blue color plus, but uh, I don't know what's up. Yeah, you don't need to do that. Just directly click inside this document. Maybe we're below uh, Ms. Vasudha's text. You try to type. Maybe you can uh, refresh it once because I gave, gave edit access only now, right? So maybe you can refresh the link once. Yeah, so Ravi is writing. So you see each person gets a different color. Uh, I think simultaneously also you can write looks like. Yeah, I think also typing. Can you please repeat? I think Padmaji is also typing. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Mr. Ravi was also typing. Uh, I'm not able to type. I don't know why. What? Uh... No, I think you can close the win that window in the browser and open the link again. Okay, I did that. And I need to click the link, right? We can Which see one? your name, ma'am. You just double click, find your cursor and start typing. Yours is the purple color, I think. So just try to double click where you see the purple. Yes, we can see your name and you can just try to. Yeah, now you put it no problem at all next to that, right? So you just find the next line for the cursor. I think you're pink in color. Just try that. Oh, I don't see any. What about others who are present? Who is anonymous or rocks? Ms. Uma, Mr. Vishal, are you also trying? For me, it is saying install Google Docs. Don't need to install. Oh, are you using mobile or something? Yeah, I'm using mobile. No, no. It's better to do the class with the laptop. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm able to do it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So what we want is, uh, please continue adding your, all your observations. Now you, you have seen that it's working. Then uh, before the next class, maybe by Monday or Tuesday, I would like to see this document filled up and then I'll try to review it and then we'll discuss that in the next next class. Okay. And I hope when you see each other's findings, observation, it will help each other. Yeah. And in between, if I find something interesting, I will also put a question in the same document. You can try to find that out. Okay. Now, let me start. I'll also post that link in the WhatsApp group later. Let's go back to the slide. I think we can con continue with that third Lord in various powers. And that is going to be this one. I think we did till ninth, right? Or eighth. Are you able to see this slide? Yeah, but only the first one, Siva Lord, Siva content, third Lord. Oh, I share this one separately. Okay. No. Third Lord. Yeah. Now you can see, I hope. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Ms. Vasudha, you can read. Sure. Third house, third lord in ninth house, Bhava. Ninth house, okay. Fortune, philosophy, higher education, religion, ethics, culture, traditions, father. Victorious, blessed with opportunities, education, earning and travel. Overseas would always be a cakewalk in their life. Paternal legacy. Hmm. And what are the findings, third lord in ninth? 
Right. Third Lord in ninth, victorious, blessed with opportunities, education, earning and travel. Overseas would always be a cakewalk in their lives and paternal legacy. Okay. Anyone has this thing? Third Lord in ninth house. Nobody having? Can you check the three politician birth charts I shared in the group? If they are having third lord in ninth house. So, Sir Bhajan Lal, third lord is Venus. Venus is in ninth. Yeah, it is there. Mr. Bhajan Lal having Venus in ninth house. Third house Lord is in ninth house. Does there, is anyone familiar with his personality? Yeah, well, Chief Minister of Haryana. Hmm. Okay. What about uh, Margaret Alva? No, it's not. It's in twelfth house. This. Uh, B. R. Ambedkar also 12th house. Okay. Fine. Then let's go to 10th house. Third Lord in 10th house. Somebody else can read. Third Lord in 10th house. Career, image, professional life. What world sees as U.S. Self-made. They pave their own path. Confident about their work and get engrossed in the task. Industrious. Hard worker, achiever, industrial, adventurous, professionalism, sports and travel. Yeah. So since that third uh, characteristics of uh, courage, ambition, those things and all come together in 10th house works out towards adventure, sports, travel, industriousness and so on. Anyone has third lord in 10th house? Nobody has? Okay, but I think it's quite clear, right? This combination. Then let's go to third lord in 11th house, Lavastana. Somebody else can read. Maybe Kavita ji, you can read. Yes, Uncle ji. 11th house. Third, third Lord in 11th house. 11th house, fulfillment of desires, profit, gain, and cash flow, wealth. And traits, sharp, smart, and bold business acumen. Know how to extract resources, money from the dust. Business is business. No matter who it is, be it your blood relation or not. Desires will be fulfilled more than expected. Yeah. Anyone has third lord in 11th house? Yeah, I have third lord in 11th house. The third lord is a moon which is in 11th house. Well, what is the ascendant? The Taurus. Okay, okay. And um, do um, much for you? This is all, uh, this is others to judge. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, but all this matches. Okay, good, good. Any other example? 
I know somebody who is Leo ascendant. Uh, mm -hmm. Third Lord Mercury, uh, sorry, third Lord, Lord Venus is in eleventh house with many other planets, and everything matches. Okay, good. Yeah, Venus itself is about that, so it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Any other cases? Okay. That's to finish. We'll finish with this. I don't think we'll do fourth lord today. We'll finish with this third lord in twelfth house. So, and since third and twelfth dustana, so in terms of that, Viparita Raja Yoga. Yeah. So uh, the uh, third and twelfth, uh, Venkat, my ascendant is uh, Tula. So the third is Jupiter, and it is in the twelfth house. Oh, okay. So yeah, you can read this and then you can yeah tell how of course twelfth house liberation detachment expenditures displacement so to spend money for the travel bless with ample of money yeah. they own earned or from the other sources no hesitation bold and ever ready as they spend the treasury fills uh, it's yeah I don't know what it is all about money here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I've been hearing this uh, last couple of days in some sessions. Okay. I don't know what the wealth is. <laughs> but the, the other important thing here is Vipirita Raj Yoga. That means you, even if you, you like uh, have a bad time or financial crisis, you'll be able to come back, rise, rise back. Yeah, I think, uh, yes, uh, for the like first 20 years of my life, I uh, uh, resonate with this. Yeah. And, uh, uh, in, in what term now this Viprit Raja Yoga uh, is basically being told here I don't know it's uh, it's only about the money or it is the other aspects of life also anything anything including money other things yeah. also yeah yeah I think yes you know I'm uh, maybe kind of self driven so yeah. so generally I fight back and mm. things turns up positive yeah. Yeah. For travel, uh, money spent for the travel, you know, it's, I am in the travel business. So I normally travel. Yeah. It's, it's my money, somebody's money, but I spend it. <laughs> <laughs> that's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Either what way, I. It, it is. Anyway, yeah. ample money, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you can teach us tips and tricks to make money. <laughs> Right now, yeah. I'm unemployed. so that's And the last point is so fascinating as they spend the treasury fills. That's very <laughs> I, nice. Uh, yeah. I completely agree to the last point here. Uh, yeah. You know, I... So, you know, I don't know. In Hindi, it is said that Neki kar kue me dal. So, you know, whenever I spend something on somebody, it, it comes back, you know, in multiplication. That's oh. absolutely fine. Right. Actually, I've seen... Uh, Mr. Ravi, right? I have seen your chart. Yeah. And yeah. your 10th house lord is in one of the dustana. So what it means is that it will keep uh, changing. Ups and downs will always be there. Yeah. Okay. Is that is that true? See, I as I told you that my first 20 years have been very struggling. Yeah. So, you know, and then I am self-made. So mm. the next 20 is over now, yeah. 41. As you okay. said, uh, the 10th house, uh, when we were studying that, you said that mm. after 40, it actually comes, yeah. you know, gives some kind of maybe probably the wisdom or mm. the benefit. But I'm I'm balanced in my life mm. for of time. I don't know, you know, what is going to happen in the future. But uh, as I compared to the first twenty years of my life, which have been very struggling in terms of, especially in mm. terms of money and finances, mm. I'm into troubles, but I came out of them. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So that that's we can take it as a match for that Viprita Raj Yoga. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Good. Okay. Yeah, that I can say that you know it's a match for the Viprita Raj Yoga because every time I went into the trouble uh, because it was mm. the family business situations, so mm. every time I went into the trouble, I was able mm. to get out of that. Yeah. Okay. I started earning at a very young age. I started earning at sixteen years of age. And oh. for 15 years, I'm earning myself. Okay, great. Yeah. 
Okay, do we have any other examples? Anyone having third lord in 12th house? I mean, we saw that two politicians also having that. So Margaret Alva and B.R. Ambedkar also have that. And that happens to be Venus. Okay, then that brings the end of third lord in various powers. I should go back to the class plan slide. Making feedback. Yeah, it should be there on your screen. Five out of six done. Okay, all are done. I'm sharing the results. So first, the meeting pace is fine, 100%. I feel I learned something today is 100%. Practical activity was engaging, 100%. One person says all were hard. One says all topics were easy. Four say they were partially hard and rest easy. Audio quality is very good for everyone. Okay. So now, self-reflection. What did we learn today? <clears throat> Any recollection? You want to put the astro ninja? Hmm. Yes. How how Mars aspects are tenth house? Strong. It's strong. Yeah, there were several insights mm -hmm. in that today. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then what else? How to edit simultaneously in Google Docs. <laughs> yeah, good. And, and I really look forward to seeing a full, completely filled observations in that. Third, uh, third Lord in various bhavas. Yeah. Then tell one thing that you wonder. We wonder how you get this uh, innovative ideas to engage ourselves in different ways, like homework, secret seven, etc. <laughs> yeah, it just comes naturally. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not consciously trying to make something. It just comes. Suddenly some idea comes and I try to do that. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Any other input? Two more inputs. Venkita, I wasn't very clear how when Venus is aspecting Jupiter from first house to seventh house uh, that they'll be better at business. So maybe some time if you have a few minutes you can explain. Yeah. 
yeah we'll do that after we finish this i'm waiting for two more inputs for this how in 12 box uh, entire uh, life Uh, Person is. Um, make it. Can you repeat? See, your audio is not coming clearly to me. Oh, yeah, in. Uh, Let me switch off my video. Yeah. This horoscope. There are only twelve box, but it covers the person's entire life. So all yeah, those yeah. mysteries are present in those twelve boxes. True. True. Correct. Good point. any other input i think like i've said before i would really like to understand uh, more about karma from the horoscope because i'm i feel like i'm always wandering in life so if i want to use astrology as a direct mm -hmm. like as somebody some science trying to give me a direction in life then i'm clueless so maybe that would be something i often wonder about okay good now your present feeling in one word Not everyone's lost. One word for your feeling. Is it too confusing? Are you overwhelmed? excited very vast sorry very vast very vast okay every th every time there is a new thing new thing comes up <laughs> yeah that's great right then what else do you find it challenging struggling or you getting becoming more clear or confident one more response okay then uh ms vasuda was asking venus aspecting um uh, jupiter when it was in its own house right correct please mm. because venus is the karaka for business okay and venus is in lagna in our specific case right and and, and yeah yeah so the one that decides your business is is going to get the preference there yeah right right sure thank you yeah sure any other yeah i have a question venkat ji you said the uh, sixth house is for service right so which yeah. are the planet in the sixth house will represent the service attitude by uh, if you see karaka saturn is the karaka for that okay oh. now when it comes to whatever planet it may be we have to see we don't know right which planet it will be so mm -hmm. we have to see number one what kind of planet it is whether it benefic malefic and mm -hmm. then see what number that is it of course it is in sixth so sixth is going to be like uh, upachaya mm -hmm. okay so we see that and then we'll see the strength of the house itself and then we have to see whether it is in debilitated exalted those things so all those factors together based on that you decide Okay. Okay. 
So when you we follow up question to what ma'am just asked, uh, just to take an example, suppose somebody is Aries ascendant mm. and sixth house of service, uh, they have number six Virgo and yeah. uh, Lagna Lord Mars is sitting there with Venus. So mm. is suitable for this person because seventh house they have Digbali Saturn mm. in Libra. So is service suited or business? Because uh, this person keeps job hopping, so <laughs> they're just confused, you know. Like well, in that case, yeah. So the seventh uh, lord is Venus, right? Right. So it's going to be uh, a business in the service area, like that. Okay, something like that. Oh, so a business of providing services. Yeah, yeah, okay. it'll be something like that. Yes. And uh, also coming back to Kavita Ji's question. So uh, sixth house, whichever is the Lord, that Lord is going to promote or um, orient towards service. It doesn't, whatever planet is, the Lord of that house, we have to see. That's also a deciding factor. Okay. Okay. So, and the Lord of seventh, whichever it is, will try to orient towards business like that. But for that, we have to see how strong it is and so on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Suppose the Lord of the house is Jupiter, then mm. uh, um, uh, suppose in, in, um, if it is if it is a Saturn, then it works, right? But if it is Jupiter, yeah, then also because Jupiter is benefic, it's going to okay. aid towards the business. Yeah. Okay. So we are here concerned with in terms of the number seven. Yeah, for the business. Ah, yeah. okay. Mm. Thank you, Amit. So I hope this was nice today. So let's meet again next time. Thank you for joining today. Thank you, Venkat. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, Venkat ji, for homework, uh, uh, where should we go and click for this document when this class is over? This I will share the link again in the WhatsApp group. Ah, that's better. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye.